All right, this is for people that has a, a problem with their Synaptic Package Manager. You know, they try to install something and they can't. Or if you want to uh, download the packages and, uh, you know, save it on a USB or whatever and uh, put it on another computer that doesn't have any internet access or something, you can do that too. Uh, so basically, ba open your uh, Synaptic Package Manager. And you do normally what you used to do, you know, search for the package that you want. So this one we use the the poker th one, and let's say uh, you want to install this one. And all you gotta do is just uh you know mark for installation, and it's gonna tell you what dependencies it needs, right? And you mark it. Now after that you don't do anything else. You just go to here, uh, where it says files, and generate a download script here. And uh, that's exactly what it's gonna do. Uh, tell you whatever you wanted to put into. I'll say the desktop, right? And we're gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it uh, I don't know, s package, All right? Uh, and then save it. And it's gonna save it up here to my um, desktop here, right? So. Now what what it does is uh, basically just uh, grabs the, the the dev files or whatever the hell it is, and uh, the dependencies also. So if I run it right now, so I double click on this. Um, to say a uh, run in terminal. Okay, and what it's gonna do is uh, download the packages like I said. See, it's downloading it, and it's gonna be wherever um, your script is at. If it's at the desktop, it's gonna locate it at the same folder. So you see it has all the packages that uh, we need for that program to work, the dependencies, everything. Uh, so this is also great if you can't install from the package manager, but you can install it from the, the you know, the GUI deb here. What is it? The, the package installer, I mean, right? Uh, that's another way if uh, your package manager is not working. Or, you know, you go to a... a uh, a friend's house or you go to uh, another computer that doesn't have the internet access uh, you can save all the dependencies and everything and load it up in there um, basically that's what it's for and uh, that's how you would do it that's it